I forgot to buy my music. There we go. Um, so, this is week seven of UBL season five. Um, this one is a post commentary because I just couldn't record this one live. So, you know, sue me. Um, <laughs> we're up against air. Um, now, at the start of the season, we all did the, the team analysis, and we all said that Air's team was the best, and is the best for a reason. It's got Megalopony, Jirachi, Hydreigon, uh, Vaporeon, Torkoal, Venusaur, Mamoswine, Rotom Fan, Beware, and Slurpuff. The team is very versatile, but it definitely leans more into the offensive side. Um, with Megalop and Hydreigon being incredibly good offensive pieces, um... Jirachi can kind of do whatever it wants. Uh, Torkoal and Vaporeon and even Rotom Fan kind of help form more defensive pieces. Um, Jirachi kind of fits in there as well. Venusaur and Mamoswine are two Pokemon not easy to switch to. Same goes for Beware. And Slowpuff can be either webs or just kill you. So um, the pivoting on this team is very good with, you know, Vaporeon, Lop, Hydreigon, Jirachi, Rotom... <laughs> There's a lot of good pivoting into getting to these scary pieces. So, yeah. I knew this one would be tricky. And to actually keep this win streak alive, I knew it was going to be, you know, not the easiest to do. But, um, there were two things about this. One, um, Air actually had, didn't have a lot of time to build. So, nothing too crazy was coming, I kind of knew. Um, because they forgot. I said, hey, let's play it this time. And they said, yeah, sure, that's fine. Actually, they asked me if what if a time would work, and I said, sure. And then they forgot. <laughs> I was like, we kind of need to do this now, <laughs> because otherwise we're probably not going to get another chance this week. And they were like, all right, cool, I'll just build and take like half an hour or so. Um, and also, two, uh, myself and Rat have actually been helping Air all season, because Air doesn't actually play singles that much. Uh, this is the first singles league they've done, um, but they've only just like kind of really got into singles. So... Um, Myself and Rat have actually been helping Air most of the season, uh, and obviously I wasn't there <laughs> to help. So I knew it was, I was basically building a team built by Rat, not by Air. So I kind of could expect something a bit off the wall, but nothing that I, I, I think my team couldn't handle. So, start things off, bog standard Mega Sardex. Like, literally, like, default, jolly max attack... Max Speed, DD, Flare Blitz, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, the most bog standard Zod set, Zodex set you can get. The only thing that, like, uh, would change is, like, um, you would make it adamant for, like, standard, because, yeah, like, you don't need the speed. Um, but I wanted to about Speed Hydreigon, um, if no Scarf or After Scarf, uh, Speed Size Jirachi, um, I felt it was just worth it. Like, there was no point, like, running enough speed for Hydreigon, but not enough to speed tie Jirachi. That just, just didn't make sense in my eyes. So I was like, screw it, I'll just speed tie. Um, next up, one of the most important pieces here, Weezing. Weezing is good against Lop, it's good against Mamo, it's good against Beware. <laughs> Weezing is super good here. Uh, levitate because of Mamo. Um, like, Scrappy's kind... Uh, sorry, Neutralizing Gas is kind of tempting. Because it stops a uh, sun from a uh, Torkoal. Um, so, I don't know. It was tempting. Uh, but Rocky Helm is really good against Lop. Um, Pain Split will always sludge bomb and taunt. I actually changed taunt to the last second. I'm glad I did. <laughs> You'll see why. But originally it was T spikes. And then I was like looking at it just before I went into the match. And I was like, what am I T spiking here? Like, the two. Grounded Pokemon, I'm ex there's like three grounded Pokemon I'm expecting that can actually be T spiked, and two of them I want burned anyway. And there's a lot in Mamo. <laughs> like, I'm not actually expecting Beware, they I don't think they brought Beware all season. Yeah, they haven't brought Beware all season. So, two of them I want, I want point, uh, burned. One of them's gonna carry boots in uh, Torkoal, and then there's just Vaporeon that I'm gonna poison. It just didn't seem worth it. So I was like, I'll carry Torn. It's good for the Torkoal. It's good for a Rotom fans trying to do weird stuff. Good for Jirachi trying to do weird stuff. And it's good for Vaporeon trying to wish pass. So, and we had enough speed to outspeed Vaporeon with no speed investment. Uh, other than that, Willow Whisper is it really good. Sludge Bomb's just good damage. And then Pain Split because recovery. Once again, pretty standard Floor Uh This one just 
lifts two specs flash cannons from Hydreigon just for my dedicated Hydreigon switching. Um, yeah, very simple. It's just like my kind of main special defensive piece, but I knew that their main special attacker, if they didn't bring Hydreigon, was going to be Venusaur. So in comes this insanely bulky Landorus. Uh, this lives two modest life orb v uh, leaf storms from Venusaur. Um, one in 64 times, because it's a 1 in 16 to get the max roll, and then another 1 in 16 to get another max roll if they switch out afterwards. Um, so it also means it has a 1 in 16 chance of living plus 2... Uh, plus 2 Leaf Storm from... Uh, from Le uh, Venusaur. Um, I was going to take the 1 in 16 chance... Like, if I if I don't get it, oh well. But, like, that's the max damage they can do. Unless they're on fr Frenzy Plants, in which they die afterwards because I have Zard. <laughs> and Azelf, so. Um, but, yeah, other than that, Stone Age Earthquake, U-turn, knockoff. Other than, like, Hydreigon, they don't really have a great ground switch in. <laughs> so, like, Lando does really, really well here. So, yeah, just Earthquakes do so much damage to their team. Um... Stone Age, obviously, just to hit things like Torkoal, mainly Torkoal, and uh, Rotom Fan if it comes. Knock off U-turn, just standard stuff. Fast Rotom Wash, um, this is just to out, this outspeeds, this wasn't for Mamo, um, this was for Beware, I think, actually. Yeah, this was for Beware. Right? No, this was for Modest Venusaur, actually. Modest Venusaur outside of Sun is what this was for. Don't know why I did that, mind you. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, uh, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Paint Split, Defog. Um, pretty standard stuff. Defog was on here um, instead of Floggers because I expected some status. With Torko usually carrying Toxic or Will-O-Wisp, Vaporeon usually carrying Toxic, Rodan Phantom carries Will-O-Wisp, Vaporeon can T- uh, sorry, Jirachi can T-Wave, I expect- and <laughs> Venusaur can Sleep Powder. I expected some form of a uh, status going around, so I felt a Rodan Therapy on Floggers would be a nice, uh, uh, extra thing. Extra, like, insurance policy. Uh, and last but not least, Azov. Azov's kind of the weird one, because it is physical. Your animate max attack. <laughs> Um, I felt like bringing something a bit stranger would be more useful here. Um, so I went with physical Azelf. I was like, this is a bit risky. Like, special Azelf is just better here. But, like, physical Azelf, just, like, catching certain things is going to be a lot, like, really, really nice. Um, again, knock off U-turns super good against the team, making sure I get that pivoting. Zen Headbutt does a lot of damage to a lot of their Pokemon. And this is also my Stealth Rocker, because Lando couldn't have it, and I wasn't bringing Registeel. So, that is the team. So, as for the actual match, we see the team here. Um, they didn't bring Hydreigon. Um, they didn't bring Rotom Fan. Those are the main two that didn't come. Otherwise, Venusaur, Torkoal, Lop, Vaporeon, Jirachi, and Mamoswine. And I thought, well, my floor just isn't as useful. But it can still switch in to some things. Um... So I decide here I'm going to lead Lando T. The reason why is Lop is such a safe lead for them. Um, Lop or Jirachi, just because of the pivoting ability, like I was like, yeah, sure, we'll just lead Lando. Um, and also, it means I can do the following. So we uh, lead Lando, get the Intimidate before the Scrappy, which is, like, pretty important. And then we hard switch into Weezing, who's got the, uh, who's got the Rocky Helmet. So we get that chip on there immediately. They go for a U-turn. I try to catch something greedy coming in here with a Will-O-Wisp, but they just go to Torkoal, which makes perfect sense. I don't know why I went for a Will-O-Wisp. A Taunt would have been much better. So I just switch out, go to Charizard, because I'm like, cool, get in before the rocks, and I can pressure something and also find out they're switching. So, Mega Run up, just do an Earthquake, no need to over-predict here, and that's very physically offensive. So, just going straight into Rotom Wash. Uh, they do roar me out into Floggers, and I'm like, okay. Well, I'm here, I may as well get a wish off. Um, they go to Venusaur. Uh, and we see the Sun Phase, so we know they're more likely boots than the uh, than the Heat Rock. I just don't take any risks. I just want to go straight to Lando. We get to full. Um, I'm just like, you know what? This like, Ven like this is my dedicated Venusaur switching. So, I may as well. Um, especially with Rocks up, I don't want to be taking 25% from Zard. So, 
So you're going to plus one, and they are Giga Drain, not Leaf Storm. So we take not much. And we do 68%. Um, I kind of expected them to switch out. Either way, I knew U-Turn would kill. So I just went for the U-Turn. Go to Road and Wash. Again, I'm trying to get rid of these rocks, because I also like to pivot. So I actually stay and go for the Wish. I'm a little surprised, but like, hey, I'm fine with it. Um, I suppose to Fault Switch. Hope that it would kill, but it doesn't. So I just go to Zard. Uh, I was thinking about going into Lando, but Lando wouldn't get the kill, so I was like, I'll just go to Zard. And this forces Venusaur out. It can't stay in against Charizard X. So. Uh, they go to Torkoal. I make the play, and I go for EQ here. Um, I think I calc it as well. I think EQ would have actually killed Venusaur like 90% of the time, which is why I went for this. So we get like a good bit of chip on here. Uh, we go for the EQ again. No predictions here. And they just set up Stealth Rock. Um, they go for Dragon Claw just in case they do switch. Um, like, if Earth Earthquake was what? It's like 200 power. Dragon Claw with Stab and Tough Claws is like more than enough to make sure that that gets the kill. So, to go into Venusaur, um, I decide to stay in just in case they over predict. Because I do the calc and I see it's a roll. And it's a roll in my favor. Um, uh, it's about it's like a 60% roll in my favor and I figured like nothing on my, on my team right now really wants to come in on this especially with rocks up and with how low my Lando is I figure you know if Zard goes down Zard goes down I'll trade Zard for Venusaur that's a good trade in my opinion so I get it and yeah we trade Zard for Venusaur uh if you want the calc get the calc up here so it should still have the sets loaded uh it, like I say, it, it was a roll. Um, so Charizard X with Tough Claws. Uh, so yeah. And then Venusaur, Chlorophyll Sweeper, uh, Earth Power. Monty's Life Orb, Earth Power, which is what they were. 98 to 102. It's only a 31% chance to KO. And I thought, I will take that. First of, otherwise, I get a free switch into something. Zard. Doesn't need to do a lot for the rest of this game. Um, I have other ways to deal with uh, Jirachi. Because uh, Lando is still alive. So. And otherwise it's not going to do too much else. This game. So. I'll take that trade. Um, I go into Weezing expecting Lop. They go to Mamo. And I'm like okay. Uh, I'll just stay in. Like I'm already in here. I may as well. They go for a knockoff. Uh, and I get the burn on it. Which is super, super nice, obviously. Um, that means this Mammo is way less threatening. Um, this is my Rookie Helmet sucks, but it does make that a lot, a lot better. So, uh, they switch. They go, because uh, I just want a Pain Split. Like, I may as well get my Pain Split off. You see Leftovers, and they go for Iron Defense here. And I'm like, oh, no, it's Storm Power stuff. <laughs> um, so, we get that, so, we get the Taunt off. It's just, like, super nice. Um, I decided to stay in, see what they're going to do. Uh, just burn it. I'm like, cool. I'm just gonna make sure that this, like, this thing dies. Uh, they still power me to death. Um, I'm like, that's fine. They're still taunted for a turn. Um, so I can bring in Rotom Wash, which is really the last special attack I have. I go for a Hydro Pump, and we do a good amount of damage here. I'd still go for a Flash Cannon. We get a Spadef Drop. Um, taunt ends, and you see they switch out, and that tells me they don't have a recovery move on that thing. Because we still have two moves. Um, they don't have a recovery on that. Um, I later find out it's actually Ancient Power is the last move to hit things like Zard. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they don't actually have a recovery on, move on it. So, yeah. The, the Jirachi that really needs the Wish is going to have to get it from the Vaporeon. So, I give the Vaporeon a Water Absorb. Obviously, I didn't want to take a risk because that thing could have won the game because my Azelf is physical. <laughs> so... Um, I default get rid of the rocks for the last time. Uh, just go for a Volt Switch for Momentum. And because this thing doesn't have a boost yet, I'm just going to go straight to Lando and not mess around. And they don't have an Earthquake Switching at this point. So I figured this is really safe. Um, let's go for the Earthquake. Take out this Mega Lot, which was really nice. I don't know why they didn't sack Mamo instead. That was probably the better play. Go into Vaporeon as they flip turn on out. I'm like, that's fine. They go to Mamo Swine. Um... But I don't know if I stay in here. I don't know if I do. I just stay in. Yeah, because, like, so the thing is, like, the worst thing they could have done is knockoff. 
and it's like, that's not that bad for me. Um, at this point, I'm assuming it's scuffed based on the way they're playing it, so... I miss a Hydro Pump, it's unfortunate. Um, I go for it again, they get the Water Absorb. I go for a Pain Split, which is going to get me back to full, because Vaporeon is massive HP. And they just roll me out, and I go into Azulf. I'm like, well, I'm here with Azulf, I may as well do something useful. So I just go for a knockoff. Get my... Get some good damage off. The Protect here, I kind of just wait for a knockoff, just in case they tried going into Rachi or something. Um, they go to Mamo here, they go for a Zen Headbutt, um, and it's barely not going to take it out. Um, and I'm like, well, I know you're Scarfed, so I'm just going to go to Rotom, it can take any hit from you at this point. Uh, and Rotom kind of just wins this game because of just how bulky it is in this matchup. So... We Volt Switch out here just to make sure we get the damage we need. Um, and it gives us store power, and that does nothing. Um, <laughs> that is only 60 base power, store power at this point. And just because of how specially defensive this Landris is, it's able to take those hits super easily. Um, and we U turn on out. We get a crit that doesn't really matter. It's over at this point. Uh, they flip turn. Again, yeah, they basically just say they can't win because they're only, like, you can see their moveset here. They'll wish protect to roll or flip turn. So I'm like, cool. I'm just going to get a floor just going to get floor just another kill. Because as we've seen, floor just has been my kill leader. Um, and I figured just get floor just another kill. We get a crit here. That honestly just speeds up the process. Like, yeah. So we win. 4-0. Uh, Zard sacrifices itself to make sure Venusaur goes down. One of the biggest threats. And then Weezing sacrifices itself to make sure that uh, Mamo goes down. Uh, and that Jirachi doesn't do anything stupid. So yeah. That means we are now 7-0. Um, I can now actually edit this. <laughs> I had to edit it so it didn't give spoilers. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we can see on our own page because I've updated a lot of stuff. Uh, we are now 7-0 with a 26 differential. <laughs> which is insane. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, Weezing has three kills. Florges, has, Florges and Zardex have the same amount of kills, which is silly. And Florges has yet to die. <laughs> so, well done, Florges. Um, but yeah, um, GG's there. Again, sorry for like it being rushed. Uh, Air can actually still make playoffs. Um, it's basically going to be a race between Air and Canna for playoffs. Obviously, we're super secure, but I, I'm going for the 9-0 at this point. Uh, and speaking of Canna, we're actually playing Canna next week, so uh, look forward to that. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.